Hello Philippines and hello world. Hi, future teachers. We are your facilitators for today's discussion. Our topic for today is about Patas Pambansa bilang 232, also known as the Education Act of 1982. This act was signed on September 11, 1982. This was an act providing for the establishment and maintenance of an integrated system of education. In accordance with Section 2, this act shall apply to and govern both formal and non-formal systems in public and private schools in all levels of the entire educational system. As provided by this act, the National Development Goals are as follows. First, to achieve and maintain an accelerating rate of economic development and social progress. Second, is to assure the maximum participation of all the people in the attainment and enjoyment of the benefits of such growth. And the third one is to achieve and strengthen national unity and consciousness and preserve, develop, and promote desirable cultural, moral, and spiritual values in changing world. The Education Act of 1982, Chapter 2, Rights This Section 11, or known as the Special Rights and or Privileges of Teaching or Academic Staff. Further to the rights mentioned in the preceding section, every member of the teaching or academic staff shall enjoy the following rights and or privileges. First, the right to be free from compulsory assignments not related to their duties as defined in their appointments or employment contracts unless compensated therefore. Second, the right to intellectual property consistent with applicable laws. Third, teachers shall be deemed persons in authority when in the discharge of lawful duties and responsibilities and shall therefore be accorded due respect and protection. The fourth one, teachers shall be accorded the opportunity to choose alternative career lines either in school administration, in classroom teaching, or others for purposes of career advancement. The Education Act of 1982, Chapter 3, Duties and Obligations, Section 16, Teachers' Obligations. Every teacher shall, first, perform his duties to the school by discharging his responsibilities in accordance with the philosophy, goals, and objectives of the school. Second, be accountable for the efficient and effective attainment of specified learning objectives in pursuance of national development goals within the limits of the available school resources. Third, render regular reports and performance of each student and to the latter and the latter's parents and guardians with specific suggestions for improvement. Fourth, assume the responsibility to maintain and sustain his professional growth and advancement and maintain professionalism in his behavior at all times. Fifth, refrain from making deductions in students' scholastic rating for acts that are clearly not manifestations of poor scholarship. Lastly, participate as an agent of constructive social, economic, moral, intellectual, cultural, and political change in his school and the community within the context of national policies. Teachers' Rights, Responsibilities, and Duties All certificated employees shall assume the duties and responsibilities assigned by the superintendent or designee. Teachers' professional responsibilities involve considerably more than merely classroom instruction. They include, but are not limited to, study and research to keep abreast of new knowledge and instructional techniques, assessment of students' work, record keeping, lesson planning and preparation, conferences with students, parents, and administrators, in service meetings and supervision of pupils outside the classroom. Teachers must be in their classrooms or assigned areas as instructed by the building principal. All duty time is necessary for educational planning, preparation, and conferences with students, parents, and faculty members. All teachers must maintain a standard of dress, personal appearance, general decorum, moral standards, and behavior that reflects their professional status in the community. Teachers' Duties and Responsibilities 
teachers will be responsible to the principal for carrying out policies of the board as they relate to the function of the school, to the classroom, and to the immediate contact with students and parents. Teachers will be expected to furnish such after-school time as is needed for assisting students, conferring with parents, and doing other necessary out-of-school work. A teacher will, first, direct curricular and extracurricular learning experiences of students. Second, care for and protect school property. The third one, supervise students on school grounds. Fourth one, participate in planning and evaluation of school programs. The fifth one is to participate in faculty activities. The sixth one is to participate in service training. The seventh one is to support auxiliary school activities. The eighth one is to carry out such board policies and administrative regulations as they relate to the teaching activities. And lastly, a teacher must be punctual.